uh, I, I would tell you that um, you know, obviously this has been the hardest uh, stretch of my professional career, which, which I would tell you means I've had a really good career. Uh, because if this is the hardest stretch, then life's not going to be too bad. I would tell you, Stephen, that uh, we serve a powerful and wonderful God and that my friends and family that have shared with me scriptures like James 1, 2 or Philippians 1, 27 or Romans 8, 28 and have continued uh, to lift me up and allow me to be a uh, to try to be uh, a worthy man and uh, a man of strength. That has been uh, uh, invaluable and I have been blessed. Uh, I've been blessed by people in this profession, you know, the Mike Tomlins and the Mike Vrabels and the Dick LeBeaus of the world that have reached out and had great advice and great uh, insight into uh, this uh, profession and this career. And, and, and so uh, I would tell you that, uh, that uh, the handling of it is, is, uh, is a work in progress. But I would also tell you this, that if I, uh, in my opinion, that handling it in a different fashion, uh, picking up your ball and going home, kicking the can down the road, quitting, packing your, packing your stuff up, being a miserable human being. If I had done those things, that would make me a liar to every one of those young men that I've coached along the way that had tough times, that got replaced on a given Saturday or a Friday night or a Sunday afternoon and uh, had to have the conversation with, hey, hang in there, it's going to be okay. Whether they agreed with the decision or not, didn't matter. You have to battle and fight through those those players and young men that struggle with the public criticism and the things that are out there in the world today. If you if you want to look them in the eye and tell them, hey, you, you need to hang in there. You need to only don't don't accept criticism from somebody you wouldn't accept advice from. If you're not willing to stand up and do the same thing, then you're a liar to all those people along life's journey. And so uh, that that I'm blessed to work here. And the other, the last piece is this. We talk about the brotherhood around here an awful lot. We talk about it an awful lot. And if you believe it and you live it, then when things get tough, it's easy to be a brother when it's 66 to 17 on a Saturday afternoon. It's hard to be a brother when you face adversity. It's hard. And so if, if, you, if you're here for the other men on this team, the other coaches and the other players on this team, if that's truly what you believe, then you're here with them come, come uh, heck or high water. You're here fighting and struggling and scrapping. And uh, I love those kids. I, I love those kids in that locker room. I love those kids on this team. I love the men I work with, and I love Ohio State. And I'm, and I'm going to be here. I'm going to be fighting and battling and scratching and clawing for the remainder of this season to help us win every freaking Saturday. That's what I'm going to do. And so whether or not uh, I, I like everything or how everything went, that got, got nothing to do with it. Got to do with you got a job to do. You look people in the eye and you say this is how, and hopefully someday down the road some young man who had trouble – who, who faces trouble or adversity can remember an example of a man who tried to lead with positive energy in the midst of adversity. And if I can do that, then I will have accomplished my goal as long as we are continuing to progress and win on Saturday afternoons. So thank you for the question. It was a long answer to a short question. I apologize for that. I'm ready to play football for you, man. <laughs>